Childhood pneumonia is one of the most common clinical problems in children. When a child usually presents with recurrent pneumonia, these are additional diagnostic considerations because most cases are usually associated with an underlying illness. Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues Journal Club, your daily dose of health and medical news. I am Dr. Nandita Mohan and today I am going to talk about recurrent pneumonia in children and their differential diagnosis. In children, recurrent pneumonia is usually defined as the occurrence of more than one episode of pneumonia within a single year or greater than three episodes within any duration with radiographically documented clearing between the episodes. Now, the study in the Journal of Postgraduate Medicine, Education and Research describes a case of a young girl. An 11-year-old girl presented with a history of recurrent episodes of fever, cough and rapid breathing since the age of 5. Each episode had a similar pattern with moderate grade fever, wet cough, fast breathing and requirement of oral antibiotics for its resolution. Now, the frequency and severity of these episodes increased over a period of time. There was no history of coughing up blood or pain in the chest. There was associated breathlessness, however, initially during the episodes, but later on it even moved in between episodes as well. So it progressed in the recent years such that at the time of presentation, the child was breathless even on minimal exertion. These episodes were initially managed with antibiotics but did not correlate temporarily with the episodes of respiratory symptoms. The family also reported that the child's growth had faltered in the recent years and she was not gaining any weight over the past two years. Investigations for allergic bronchopulmonary aspergillus was done. Sputum fungal smear as well as the culture yielded yeast on three occasions. Oral prednisolone and broad-spectrum antifungal IV amphotericin were added to the regime. On day 17 of the hospitalization, her sensorium deteriorated suddenly. So the researchers concluded that a stepwise clinical approach did confirm the diagnosis of underlying chronic granulomatous disease with bronchiectasis with disseminated tuberculosis involving both the lungs as well as the central nervous system complicated by allergic bronchopulmonary aspergillus. So to emphasize, general physical examination is focused towards identifying the dysmorphic features, the growth patterns, as well as the neurodevelopmental status of every child. So if there is a presence as well as a grade of digital clubbing pointing to an underlying chronic separative lung disease, that must be a key point in directing towards further examination as well as investigations. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.